Let's talk about um, settings for a particular language and how that works. And in VS Code, if you're using a settings.json file, it is pretty straightforward. You just have to use square brackets and then you use the language identifier inside the square brackets and in the object uh, or in the value, uh, you select the settings that you want. Now, obviously not all settings that VS Code has are applicable to a particular language because some settings are global. For example, the breadcrumb settings. You can come here and you can uh, press control space for auto completion and you will find that there are no breadcrumb settings here. And that makes sense, obviously, because breadcrumbs is a global configuration. It's not meant to be a setting that changes per language, right? But you have quite a few settings that you can change per language right, right here and can explore those. Um, okay, so how do you find a language specifier? Um, well, you have two options. You can either click this button right here that pertains to the language uh, mode that's being applied on this file and you can find the language identifiers inside parentheses, right? Uh, but if you choose something here, for example, if you choose JavaScript, we're actually going to change the language mode for this file, and that's not what we want, right? This would only serve the purpose of uh, seeing the language identifiers. If we actually want to add language-specific uh, settings, we can use uh, Shift-Command-P to bring up the command, cons the, the command palette and write, I know it's there, but I'm gonna still write configure language uh, settings, for example. And you have this option right here, you press enter, and it's going to show a drop down with all the languages that VS Code supports. If you want to support more languages, you can install extensions that do so. And let's, uh, let's I don't think we have any for JavaScript. No, so let's add JavaScript, for example. And VS Code will automatically add this little bit of uh, text here. Let's bring this up to the beginning of the file. Um, let's insert the comma. And now you can come into the um, into the uh, the middle of this object right here and press Command Space and change some settings here. And you have language specific settings for JavaScript. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward, um, and that's pretty much it. If you have any doubts or uh, if you find some any mistake that I've made throughout this playlist, please let me know, and I'll uh, re-record the video to fix it.